If you watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I use Anki for the bulk of my revision. But what exactly is Anki and why should you use it? Anki is a flashcard application designed to help you retain information long term using two of the most effective study techniques, space repetition and active recall. The combination of these two techniques is what makes Anki so powerful and very popular. But if you're new to using Anki, the way it looks can just seem very overwhelming at first. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started using Anki and some little add-ons that I use to make using Anki a little bit more fun. As usual, I'm just going to turn into a little bubble on the screen and so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. So once you've downloaded Anki and opened it up, this is what you're going to see. So right now it's completely empty and we're going to fill it up with some decks and some cards. I have a default deck here. We're just going to go ahead and we'll use the default deck and we'll rename it Cardiology. And all my Cardiology cards would go in this deck. So to add a card to this deck, you're just going to click on Cardiology and you're going to click add at the top here. A new window is going to pop up and this is how you're going to add your cards. So if you go to type at the top, and you click this, it's going to open up another window showing you the different types of cards you can add. So let's start with a basic card. This is the type of card I use the most frequently. It's literally just like you have a basic front and back of a flashcard, just like how any typical flashcard would work. So for example, let me make a flashcard. What kind of murmur would you hear? in aortic stenosis and that is an ejection systolic murmur and then you just want to click add at the bottom here and the card has been added to the deck let's make another one we're going to close this window and as you can see we've got two new cards so if you click study now it's going to ask you what kind of murmur would you hear in aortic stenosis so you would hear an ejection systolic murmur if you click show answer or if you press space you would see ejection solid mama and then you've got some four options here so again if you got it wrong hard if you got it but it was a bit difficult good if it was relatively good and easy if you got it like that and as you can see there's different time intervals as to when you would answer the card again and that aids in its spaced repetition so i'm gonna press hard Okay, we're going to click back into cardiology and we're going to add another card. This time we're going to add a close deletion card. I don't use this one as much, but it's probably the second most used type of card that I use. So if we click on that, this isn't a front and back type of flashcard. Instead, you put a sentence and you would remove one word from it and you would have to guess what that, well not guess, answer what that word is. So for example, if we do the same thing, what you would do is you would highlight what you want to get rid of and then you would click this button right here and then there you can see when i add the card that will be the, the thing that's deleted so if i undo or not undo but if i get rid of these if i wanted to have more than one word deleted in the same sentence and i'd answer it at the same time okay i feel like i need to make that a bit longer so if i highlight this and then I press this, it creates a new card. And then if I highlight this and I press this again, it's going to create another new card. So if I click this, it says C2. So if I add the card and that's this and I go to study now, only one of the words will disappear at a time. But if I go back, add a card. So if we highlight what we want to get rid of again. So if we click the plus so this is going to make a new card again if you want to make it so they both disappear at the same time you would click this button <coughs> instead and as you can see they both say c1 alternatively you could also just like edit the number inside and it would just so c1 this one would disappear first and then that one would disappear next and then c1 c1 they both disappear at the same time so if we add that in and if we study now so they both disappear at the same time and if you press space they both pop up at the same time so the next type of card i want to show you is actually an add-on it's called image occlusion this is where you cover up different parts of a picture and then you have to answer what's underneath what you covered up this is mainly how i studied anatomy in first and second year 
and it was really useful for that so how you actually use image occlusion is you go on to valves go on to add and what you need to do is you need to take a screenshot of whatever picture you want to use so i'm going to use this one screenshot that and if you go back to anki and you press this button right here it's going to bring up this window and you can just drag and create a square to cover whatever you need to cover and you can resize the cards as well if you click hide or guess one all the cards you've put on here will be there when you want to answer each card so for example if you want to answer this card these these two cards will also be covered if you pick hide one guess one what's going to happen is it will only put one card on the screen at a time i like to use hide or guess one because i just feel like that's better for active recall so i'm going to go ahead and click hide or guess one and three cards have been added so close this close that and if i click study now and this is what it looks like when you go to study the card right so what i've done here before i realized i wasn't recording you could like drag decks and put them within decks so you can kind of make it kind of like a folder type organization you can choose to review these separately or you can click respiratory medicine and review them all together so i just find that really useful for separating out cards right so those are all the different types of cards in anki and that is the file organization system now i'm going to exit this tutorial profile and, and i'm going to show you how you can study cards by different states or by tags okay so this is my anki dashboard or whatever you want to call it as you can see it's customized to my liking and i'm going to go through that in the add-ons part of this video so now i'm just going to show you how to use the custom study feature i use this feature when i haven't done my reviews in a long time and i want to kind of relearn my cards without having to reset my anki deck if i go into year three and i click on let's do respiratory medicine as an example say i wanted to do all these reviews that i've left to build up i would go to custom study and i would go to study by card state or tag and then i would click do cards only and i would set that to a number that's higher than the amount of cards in the deck just so i make sure i get all the do cards and then click choose tag i don't use tags on my cards so i'm not going to go through that in this video if you had tags you would select the tags that you've added to the card and then you click ok so now it's got in all my um do cards and put them in a custom study session deck so now we want to edit this deck so if we go to options and we're going to change the order of the cards to order added and we're going to press rebuild so what this does is when anki gives you a bunch of reviews it puts them in a random order and if i haven't done my reviews in a long time the cards aren't really going to make sense to me so i would prefer to go through them in the order that i made them so it's kind of like i'm going through my notes and i'm relearning my notes so when i click study now it's going to bring the cards in the order that i made them so if i go back to decks you can see it's made a separate custom study session here whatever you do in a custom study session doesn't affect the deck you got the cards from until you delete the cards so if i go ahead and delete this deck it returns the cards back to the deck you took it from so it's just a good way to separate out your cards and review them in isolation so i've gone back to my tutorial anki dashboard and i reset everything to make it look completely bland and empty so i'm now going to show you how to make your anki look way more aesthetic and way more pleasing to look at these are the add-ons we're going to be adding so before we get started let me just quickly show you how to add an add-on to anki so the first thing you need to do is go to ankiweb.net this is where you can search for a bunch of different add-ons custom background image and gear icon so if you click that and if you scroll to the bottom of any add-on there's a code that you need to copy so once you copy this code you go back to anki go to tools go to add-ons get add-ons and you copy and paste the code and press oh <laughs> i didn't copy the code you would copy and paste the code and press ok so let's actually start with customizing the background so if i go back and scroll to the bottom i'm gonna actually copy the code this time go back to anki tools add-ons get add-ons and paste the code then i'm gonna press ok 
So now we have to restart Anki to see it come into effect. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got a random background. This isn't really my vibe, so I'm gonna change this. So to do that, you're gonna press Anne King up here. You're gonna go to custom background and gear icon. Then you're gonna click open image folders and you're gonna click background. These are all the images you can set as a background for your Anki. If you want to use your own background, you just need to get an image and place it in here. Right, so an easy way to do it is to just have your image on your desktop here and then drag it into the folder. And then if you go back to Anki, go to Anking, custom background gear and icon. What you want to do is press these three dots here and select the image. You can also change the gear icon. I'm going to change it to the flower because I think that's really cute and it suits the pink vibe. And there you go, the background and that gear icon has changed. Now I'm going to add the heat map into my Anki. Tools, add-ons, get add-ons, paste, okay, restart. There we go, I've got my heat map added back into Anki. And you can change the color by clicking this toggle here and you can change the color scheme. I'm gonna change it to magenta. I think that's how you say it. And yeah, I wanna keep the yearly overview. You can also change it to a continuous timeline, but I prefer the yearly overview. There you go. Now there's one more add-on I want to add in called Puppy Reinforcement. And I think it's really cute. Let me show you how it works. So if I go into one of my decks and I do, I go through cards for a total of 10 times. See, you get a picture of a little puppy every time you do 10 cards, which I think is just so cute. Like how could you not be motivated after looking at a picture of Poppy? That is pretty much it for the Anki tutorial, guys. Hopefully you found this useful and pretty easy to follow along. Before you go, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you found this useful. It really helps the channel out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.